Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got a ton of stuff to go over. We got some updates, stuff I want to talk about. We have the Team of the Week reveal. Now, if you guys did watch anything last night, we've been on Twitter. You guys did too. They did reveal Team, team of the Week 15 and 14 over on Twitter. And they, uh, you know, they did the early reveal. But I usually wait till the next morning. To make it all in game and stuff instead of doing the early reveal video. But I'm excited guys to go over it. They did do it right. If you guys remember, like maybe a week or two ago, I was talking about the eventual team of the uh, week drop that they would be doing. And my biggest complaint was last year when they did team of the week, and hopefully they learned from this. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Last year they did team of the week just like this. They uh they pushed all the holiday team of the weeks back and we got them all at once. Where we got them, they were like low overalls. They gave us overalls that we would have gotten back then. Now, if you guys understand that, pretty much it's a waste of Team of the Week, right? Because if we had gotten Team of the Week 14 the week it was due, right? Let's say back in December, we're getting a 93, 94 overall, and it's a great player. We're at even 92, 93 overalls, but that's okay because at the time, that's what we're dealing with, so that, 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 that's useful. But if they pause our December 7th, let's say, drop and push all the way back to January 12th and give us the same overalls, those players are a waste. It's just a waste of time. Don't even bother. We're going to get 92, 93 overalls, and we have 97, you know, 96, 97 overalls already. So what they did was, which is what I was, I was recommending, I said in my video, I was like, I hope they make the overalls relevant to now. Like, they push it. They pretty much drop Team of the Week now, like, in, in, 10, in that sense. And if you check them out, when I go over them, you will see there are 95 overalls. They get powered to 96s. So they're only one overall less than the highest overalls in the game, which is exactly what I wanted to see when this happened because I was scared they were going to be 94s. Like last year, we got Michael Gallup dropped and stuff. Like 93 overalls, 94s. Like those are not what we're able to play with. 92, 93, 94. Like that's just not it. I'm happy they did what they did. Let's open this Good Morning Man Pack. I always hold that hope that I'll get some banger pull out of here, but I mean, I've seen some crazy stuff out of here. It's like not really, it's almost impossible, but I've, I've seen it. But yeah, guys, we have some Team of the Week stuff to go over. We have some um, updates to go over go over some of the stuff i've seen in the stream and everything and anyway, guys but real quick update for the channel in general if you guys are still watching at this point um i'm building the computer if you guys have been keeping up it is just about finished building waiting for the last part the gpu coming in on wednesday once i got that and have a microphone coming in a stand i have a whole new setup pretty much coming in uh face came back when we back we'll be back to business guys i know it's been a long break and it wasn't it wasn't entirely it was just bad timing with covid i got really sick for a little bit and then you know i had to uh quarantine out of the house and it was just a, it was just a whole process then christmas came and then my computer broke but we should be back at it pretty soon but guys before we get into the video like comment subscribe comment down below let me know what's going on and of course if you're new to the channel subscribe and head over to my reserve and pick up coins using code poodle it's 30 percent off still so take advantage but yeah guys let's get into the bulk of the content so first we have 84 overall eric murray on the texans nothing too special there 90 speed 82 hit power maybe a budget player probably not though Nelson Aguilar, 89 speed, 84 jumping, 83 catching, low route running, low catching, low speed, nothing great there. But remember, these guys do get power upgrades, so they do happen to have a power up, you know, they get a plus one. Kenny Young, 88, 88 overall, 87 speed, and a linebacker, 82 zone, 88 hit power, 91 excel. Decent at best, not great. We got Drew Locke, quarterback for the Denver Broncos, 82 speed, 93 throw power, low accuracy, low everything. Not a great quarterback either. Jeez, these cards are not good so far. Kari Willis. Kahari Willis, 92 speed, 92 excel. 91 hit power, 92 zone. Actually, a really good budgety safety. You can get him pretty cheap. Not bad. We have Miles Sanders for the Eagles. 92 speed, 92 excel, 91 agility, 91 break tackle, 91 change of direction. Decent overall halfback. Nothing too great. If he gets power up and everything, then you know. He'll have some use more so than he does now. Let's keep checking these out. Uh, Hassan Reddick, right outside linebacker. 92 speed, 92 excel, 87 strike, 95 tackle. 88 play rank, 95 blocks, and 95 for nice move. He is actually insane. If he gets a power-up, guys, or if he does have a power-up, he's going to be absolutely crazy. He's going to get 99 finesse move with a 93 speed and 96 blocks. If he's a crazy middle line, oh, right off the linebacker. Not bad at all. Kevin Carter, that's the hero we saw on Twitter last night. I'm going to let you see him real quick. 94 power move, 95 block shed. Overall, you know, he's good. There's some faster options at this point in the game. He's not bad. Ricky Williams, he can be powered up, of course. On 90, he'll have a 94 speed, a 96 excel, with medium 90 trucking and break tackle, and decent change of direction, all, all around. He's like baby Bo Jackson, well-rounded, but not as fast. Now, the LTD is Richard Sherman. 
was not expecting this, but he can be powered up to a 97. So that's what I like about this, guys. I did let Team of the Year be 97 overalls. That is cool to see. 97 overall, Richard Sherman. That'll be 94 speed, 94 excel, 94 agility, 98 jumping. Wow. 99 play rack. He'll end up with 97-ish man, 96 man. 99 zone, 99 press. He's going to be one of the ultimate zone man and press corners with that jumping too and the 94 speed. He's going to be really good. I, I think he's going to be really good, honestly, even with a little, little less speed. Remember, he's like 6'3 as well. Now, guys, it's Team of the Week 15. And now we're going to get to Team of the Week sorry, 14. Now we're going to get to Team of the Week 15. Because remember, that does come up next. We have DeForest Buckner, uh, 84 overall defensive tackle. You know, nothing too great there. Tony Pollard, 90 speed, 80 change of direction, 91 excel, nothing great. Ar Ari Garmstead, he's got decent block shot, decent power move, low, low speed at end. Cannot be not useful at all. Jalen Hurts, 91 speed, 91 throw power. Maybe a pretty good budget piece quarterback with that speed and throw power. But then again, you probably could just get base legend Vic at that point. Nikel Roby Coleman, 91 speed, 93 excel. 92 zone, 88 man, 92 press. Not a bad corner. He will get above 90 man. He will get above 90, well, well above 90 zone and well above 90 press. Matt Ryan, Matty Ice, going to be the 92 overall on the set. Again, power up and all, 93 overall. 90 throw power, 92 throw short, 90 medium. So we'll go deep on him, guys. We'll have all the throwing thresholds. He'll have decent throw power. For a Falcon Seed team, eh, he'll be okay. But remember, you have, you have uh, Mike Vick, so I don't think you'll be turning to a Matty, Matty Ice anytime soon. David Montgomery is going to be one of the high cards here. David Montgomery, now 895 overall, elusive back. He has 93 speed, 95 excel, 91 agility, 95 carrying, 80 catching, 91 change of direction, 92 trucking. 93 break tackle. If he gets a power up, guys, he's pretty good. If he does not, he's not that great. It really just depends on what he gets here. Ben Coach, you guys saw him uh, on Twitter last night. Not bad. Going to have 89 speed at tight end. Gonna have very high route running, of course. Though you know we've gotten better tight ends, we've gotten some 90 speed ones at this point. But Ben Coach is still good. Eric Allen, we saw him on Twitter as well. Cornerback, 95 overall, 94 speed, 96 excel, 80 agility. Again, he's gonna have 99 man. Gonna have high 98, 97 zone, and he will have 90 like 5, 96 press. And of course, he can be powered up. So he's gonna have 95 speed, 97 excel. Gonna be a super good corner, honestly. I really do like this Eric Allen card. He's not bad. I like that they give us competitive cards at least. Kind of what we we're hoping for. Next, we got Deshaun Jackson, 96 speed Deshaun Jackson. Now, it says there's no power for him, but if he does get a power up here, guys, he will be one of the best wide receivers in the game. He, well, 90, alone right now. If we just look base, he will get to a 99 deep route running. He has good catching. He has all the thresholds that you're going to want. He's going to be one of the better wide receivers in the game right now, but if he can get a power up, he will be able to get the 97 speed. Now, I don't know if he will. I don't think he will. But if he can get a power card, that will be game-changing for how well his card's going to be. Um, Sean Jackson, that's a cool card. I didn't even know uh, what the stats were for this card. Again, I didn't go look into all this. I didn't really announce it. It would have been cool if they did. But nonetheless, guys, the Sean Jackson's looking super cool. That pretty much does wrap up the video that covers everything. This is week 14 and 15. And then probably in a few, uh, I think it's, I forget the exact day, but the 19th, a week from today, they are going to reveal Team of the Week 16 and 17. So those cards may actually even hit a 98 overall. I don't know how crazy they're going to get with this, but if they go up one overall uh, more with the LTDs, they could potentially get to a 98 overall. I don't know if they will. But guys, that's it for the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, everything else you guys do. If you guys need coins for any of these cards, head over to Mutt Reserve. Use code Poodle for 30% off. So that's it, guys. I'm out. Peace.